I know they look stupid, but they help me see. underlined things in ink before I stole this book. And what I look at, I don't really comprehend. Like, I don't know what they're getting at. But that is the beauty of somebody writing in a book. People say you should never write in a book. And I say, well, when you write in a book, you expand. The history of what has already been written. You can only hope what you have to say is smarter. Forty-three. It is the business of the very few to be independent. It is a privilege of the strong. And whoever tempts it, even with the best right, but without being obliged to do so, proves that he is probably not only strong, but also daring beyond measure. He enters into a labyrinth he multiplies a thousandfold the dangers which life in itself already brings with it. Not the least of which is that no one can see how and where he loses his way, becomes isolated, and is torn piecemeal by some minotaur of conscience. Conscience. Con science. Conscience. With science. Con science. With science. With an understanding. With sentience. With knowing. Supposing such a one comes to grief, it is so far from the comprehension of men that they neither feel it nor sympathize with it. And he cannot any longer go back he cannot even go back again to the sympathy of men. Nietzsche. Beyond good and evil.